What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm not so sure if you guys have seen it on Instagram, but right now I'm in Seattle, Washington. So I spent two weeks in Kenya and I'm now in Washington for another two weeks. Tomorrow I'm driving to Canada for two days and I'll be back in Washington for a bit. And then I'm going to Spain and I'll be doing a bit of a tour um, in Europe as well. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go give me a follow so you can keep up to date with my travels. Uh, but in this video, I've got my laptop here and I'll be reading out my personal statement and kind of giving you guys a few tips uh, and a few kind of things you need to think about when writing a personal statement. This video has been requested so many times, so I really hope it helps you out. Um, it's already August, so I'm sure a lot of you who are very keen have maybe already started writing a personal statements. If you're kind of like chilled and laid back like me, you probably haven't started yet, which is completely fine. Hopefully this video will help you out in some way. The personal statement for me, I found so, so hard. Like I did, I did kind of struggle to write this. Um, I started writing it around September time during my application process. Um, but yeah, I found it quite hard, but it is really, really important. It's probably the most important part of the application because it's kind of the time where you can just sit down and sell yourself, um, not literally, but you can kind of sell yourself and tell them why you're suited for medicine. Um, apart from the interview, it literally is the only time that you get to sit down, tell them about you, uh, tell them how amazing you are. So it really is important to sit, to sit down and spend a good amount of time writing the personal statement. But yeah, without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into it. Um, this is my first time actually reading my personal statement for over like a year. So it'll be quite interesting to kind of see where I was um, during the application process. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I will. To start you off the introduction. My inspiration to do medicine originates from my most fortunate gift, being born in a third world country. In my early life, I visited local slums to take part in debates and help build the infrastructure. Experiencing, experiencing what life is like for less fortunate people highlighted the harsh reality of the world we live in, a place where healthcare and education are easily taken for granted and where access to medicine makes a world of a difference. I saw the crippling impact diseases have from a first-hand perspective and realized what becoming a doctor can do for the rest of the world. Having also, oh, that's quite cringy, but <laughs> let's keep going. Having also lived in Japan and England, these changes taught me to appreciate the little things in life and allowed me to learn Kiswahili and Japanese. Being multilingual enhanced my ability to interact with people from different cultures and learn more about the worlds I'm yet to experience. Wow, okay, so that was uh, a bit cringy, um, but somehow it worked. So to kind of talk about the, the introduction and talk about the first part, the first thing I wanna say is that the, the first line of your introduction has to be quite catchy. It has to be like something that can hook the reader and kind of grab the attention straight away. So try and make um, a very catchy first line if you can. The second thing I should probably say is the introduction is really important because it kind of sets a scene. So it kind of explains, you know, why you want to do medicine, what it is about you that drew you towards medicine and made you want to pursue a career in medicine. So do take some time to sit down. Um, I think I came up with this introduction when I was on holiday last year in Norway. So I was sat down um, for a very long time just thinking about, you know, what was unique to me? What would I kind of, what can I kind of talk about that made me unique in a way? You know, these people who will be assessing your application will be reading thousands and thousands of different uh, first statements. So you need to find something that is very unique to you and that kind of sets you apart from everyone else. Um, so sit, so don't worry, like I know it is a bit daunting, but just sit down and spend some time thinking about what makes you you. The other thing I should probably say is that the last line of every paragraph has to kind of be a mini conclusion. So it needs to conclude the paragraph that you've just been, you know, you've just written and also kind of needs to lead into the next paragraph as well. Um, so yeah, that's the introduction and let's move into the next paragraph, which I think is the main body. Right, so paragraph number two. Hopefully it won't be as cringy as the first, um, but it probably will be. So just sit back and just bear with me. So paragraph number two. Having chosen to study medical science, I hope to apply my theoretical knowledge clinically as a doctor. My degree gave me the opportunity to undertake an eight week research project where I was successful in being granted a Wellcome Trust scholarship. I explored the functioning of the human innate lymphoid cells in mouse models and the potential treatment of inflammatory bowel conditions. Similarly, I undertook an 11-week extended science project looking at induced pluripotent stem cells and their application in regenerative medicine for treating diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. These projects broadened my understanding of the human body and introduced me to key scientific skills. I'm also the technology and social media ambassador and represent my course across schools in Birmingham where I hold presentations to students in an attempt to inspire them to pursue further education allowing me to develop my communication and presentation skills. I've also undertaken two-week hospital placements in liver medicine and neurotrauma, where I experienced various aspects of the hospital, including the critical care units, wards and theater. The most rewarding experience was my involvement, was my involvement in the removal of a patient's halo brace. Uh, so a halo brace is like one of those things where 
I think it was like in Mean Girls, where, she, you know, uh, is it Regina or something? She broke her back and she had to get in one of those like braces that held her kind of, held her head upright and in line with her spine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it is. In this procedure, my role was to hold the halo brace and stop it from moving, whilst the registrar and nurse unscrewed the pins. I could see the patient was going through an excruciating amount of pain, so I made every effort to comfort him. Thankfully, the procedure was successful and I learned how, how much a difference empathy can make for the patient and the importance of a multidisciplinary team. Okay, so just one thing, um, a multidisciplinary team is such a key word. I think everyone uses it in every single person statement they write. So multidisciplinary team, it's kind of like, um, it just basically means a team of different skills. So you have the nurse, the doctor, the healthcare assistant, all the different kind of medical professionals um, are all put together in one team to kind of deal with the patients. So that is a key word, so make sure you use that if you can, um, or not, but yeah. So the main body, this is kind of like a, you know, the, the main part where you can kind of sell yourself again. So it's the main part where you put all of your work experience into, you put all of like everything you've done basically into this one paragraph. So essentially what you need to do is talk about what you've done. So talk about your work experience, talk about any projects you've done, anything cool, which kind of makes them believe that you are um, fit for the posi position of being a medical student. Another thing I should probably say is that each sentence needs to have a purpose. Because the word count is so low in first statements, each, each sentence really needs to be important and needs to have a very big purpose. Um, so for example, if I can kind of uh, look back into my first statement. I'm also the technology and social media ambassador and represent my course across schools in Birmingham where I hold presentations to students in an attempt to inspire them to pursue further education, allowing me to develop my communication and presentation skills. So after pretty much every sentence, I spoke about what the experience taught me. So in this sentence I just told you, I finished it by saying, allowing me to develop my communication and presentation skills. So if you can try and make sure that every sentence has a purpose. So, you know, so you say, um, I did this work experience or I did this, this kind of uh, project and make sure you say exactly what it taught you. Um, Cause it's not really, it's not just about what you've done. It really is also about uh, what it's taught you. That's really, really important. So yeah, so whether it's taught you communication skills, team working skills, make sure after every sentence, you know, they do think, oh, okay, I understand why they said this and I understand why they did this sort of project or work experience. Okay, so moving on to the next paragraph. I think this is a paragraph where I spoke about all of my extracurriculars and all my volunteering, stuff like that. Um, but let's see how that goes. Alongside my studies, I volunteer weekly at my local hospice and nursing home, where I feed and assist to clean the patients, read stories to them, and be someone who can listen to their worries. Working at the care home with healthcare professionals has shown me the importance of addressing each patient's individual needs and providing personalized care. I've also further developed my team working skills through playing football for the medical school weekly, and working part-time as a chef, where I have the responsibility of managing the restaurant on some days. This position requires me to prepare multiple types of meals simultaneously, whilst, whilst coordinating with the waiters and co-chef. I also have to organize my time in order to be as efficient as possible to meet my own personal standard of excellence, as well as the restaurants. So again, this is the paragraph that I kind of chose to talk about uh, my extracurricular activities. So speak about, you know, whether, whether you play an instrument, whether you play a sport, um, if you have a job. I think one really important thing is to speak about a job. So if you do have like a paid job as a bartender, as a chef or whatever, it really is important to mention that because I think that um, does show um, your suitability to be a doctor. Um, so yeah, speak about you know all the fun things you do. One of the things that they look for is a student who doesn't only have the best grades, um, but is a student who has a life outside of medicine. Uh, medicine is obviously a really um, stressful degree, so they want a student who's very um, well-rounded, manage their time appropriately, and can just have a good time and enjoy medical school so they don't go crazy uh, during their studies. So yeah, so don't just talk about like some random thing like, I like going fishing, um, or I like uh, going for long walks on the beach. Uh, make sure each sentence really is important uh, to describe your suitability as a medical student, as a doctor. Uh, so like I spoke about obviously my hospice uh, placements, my nursing home placements, um, I spoke about playing football because that shows like your team working skills. I spoke about working in a restaurant because that shows like I have loads of different skills that can be kind of um, used towards being a doctor. So like team working skills, leadership skills, there's loads of different skills that can be applied in the job as a doctor. Um, so yeah, that's my extra cur curriculars. And I think I move on to the last paragraph, which is my conclusion. Embarking on a career in medicine is not a decision I've taken lightly and learning more about the complex physiology of the human body has fueled my ambition further and has made me work even harder. I believe being a doctor is a profession which allows me to utilize each gift I've been blessed with in order to help others and given the opportunity, I will continue to do so until I one day change the lives of patients in England as well as those I left behind in Kenya. 
Damn. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad of an ending. If I say so myself. Um, but yeah, the conclusion is very, very important. It's a part that kind of leaves the reader thinking the student is very suited for medicine or this student has no idea what they're talking about. So it really, really is important to sit down and just think about a conclusion that again is unique and ends your uh, kind of story in the best way possible. So again, find a way um, to conclude your personal statement that is unique to you. Uh, so for me, that was kind of linking it back to my introduction and talking about uh, going back to Kenya and telling the reader about how I want to go back to Kenya one day and change the lives of patients there as well. So your personal statement has to be very structured. Um, it's one of the most important things. Um, so it has to read well, and it has to be very structured as well. So spend some time to just type what you think, uh, plan out different parts of your personal statements, um, write down what you need to write down. But as soon as you're done, make sure you come back to your personal statement and read it like a hundred times. I think I read mine like over 70 times. You know, come back and read it, make sure that it works very well, make sure it reads very well and is structured very well. And um, that's one of the most important things. You might have the personal statement that has all the best, you know, work experience, all the best content, but if it's not structured well, if it doesn't read well, they're literally just gonna throw it out the window. I think one important thing is to kind of um, try to get a few people to read it. So I think I got about three people to read it. I got my personal tutor to read it. I got one of my teachers to read it and I got one of my best friends to read it. Um, don't give it to too many people because they might add their own interpretation of it and it might change how you wrote it yourself. So don't give it to too many people, but give it to people that you trust, like the careers advisor, your teachers, and ask them what they think um, and ask them how it reads. Another tip um, I'd say is to write it all out, write your, your final draft and then give it another two or three days. So have three days of not reading it at all, just you know, completely remove it from your mind and come back and read it three days later with a fresh mind uh, and see how you find it and see how it reads to you. But yeah, that's my personal statement, guys. Uh, this is not a video where I talk about how to write a personal statement. It's literally a short video where I wanted to just kind of get it out there so you guys can start thinking about your personal statement. Um, I really hope this helps you write your personal statements. Again, it's not an easy thing to write. Like I said, I struggled with it myself. I think I took like four or five weeks to write this personal statement. So take a lot of time out of your day to just sit down, maybe like one or two hours a day, to just sit down and write this personal statement because it really, really is important. But once you do write it, I promise you like it will be amazing. Um, spend some time reading other people's personal statement as well. Um, I'll put some links down below of some websites I used as kind of examples of personal statements that I read before I wrote mine. One key thing is make sure not to copy. Um, the more personal statements you read, the more similar you, you realize that they are. Try your best to not copy any personal statements. Try and make it very unique to you. Again, like I said, people who will be assessing your application will be reading thousands of different applications. So try and make it unique to you. Try and make it something different, you know. Try and make, it, try and make yourself stand out. And um, I'm sure once you have it written, it'll be amazing. Once you have written your personal statement, I'll be more than happy to read it. I'll leave a link down below about how you can send me your personal statement. Uh, I'm not a professional at personal statements, but I've helped quite a few students in my past uh, write their personal statements and they've been quite successful. Um, so I'll let you know how to do that down below. If you have any comments or any questions about your personal statements, any questions at all about you know, writing it, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe as well. Uh, share it with your friends who are writing their personal statements as well. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.